Hey guys, welcome to another video here. Today uh, I'm gonna be installing a set of uh, Putco F-150 door sill plates. Uh, this is the kit here, so it comes driver and passenger and they have a nice F-150, uh, you know, little kind of etched lettering in there. They are chrome. Uh, they do come with the instructions here. That's pretty much all you get in the box. So it is double-sided tape. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started and see how these go on there. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, if you get a crew cap kit, it should have four of these. Now, I believe the uh, crew cap kit has smaller ones for the back. Um, as of this video here today, um, they did not have the crew cap kit available for me. So I got just the uh, extended cap, which is only the front one. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door here. Now these should go right in this area right here. Uh, pretty straightforward on the installation, double-sided tape. And then you just pretty much put them in here. And you just looks like you just have to uh, make sure you put them right at the uh, right at the middle. Pretty much match them with the uh, seal plate, the factory seal plate there on top. So. Um, Looks like they will fit in there pretty good. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, just a microfiber towel here to wipe the door. Um, I washed the vehicle earlier today and you know dried it and everything, so should be pretty clean, ready to go. All right, so just make sure your surface is clean. Um, didn't notice this was a little bit bent here on the edge, but they're pretty thin, so you know, you can bend them back. Just make sure they're not creased or anything. I'm gonna peel the double-sided tape off here. And what I'm gonna do is just, like I said, you have to match it with the top one. Pretty much put it at the corner. Corner on both sides. And then just push in that double sided tape. So that's all it is. You know, they, they look pretty nice. Uh, you know, probably be easier to look in person, but they're, you know, they just have a little bit of protection also when you get in. You know, you tend to kind of hit this area maybe. So it's gonna keep it from scratching the actual paint. And, uh, you know, with the chrome. And it has a nice F-150 little emblem there, so. Looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. And pretty much I'm going to repeat the same process here to clean. Just make sure it looks good. And then I'm 
going to go ahead and peel the uh, double-sided tape. It is 3M tape, so you know this stuff holds on pretty well. Do one corner. And the other corner. And that's it. Uh, you know this little this little kit is just pretty much cosmetic. Um, you know, but it will protect if you're getting in here and you're you know rubbing it on the side. So something you can get. Um, this sets you back about eighty dollars. And like I said, the uh, kit for the crew cab comes with the pieces for the back doors, which uh, at the time that I got this order, it did not. It was not available so i went ahead and got that one um if they do make it available later where i can buy the back pieces then i'll buy those but i don't think i'll get a whole nother kit just for those rear pieces um the big the kit that comes with the front and rear is about 110 dollars i believe compared to uh, this one that was 79 so still not too bad as far as the price uh, for what you get in there but pretty easy to install, you know, it just takes a few minutes. Go ahead and, uh, you know, you just, uh, you can go ahead and uh, install them pretty easy. This is the part number from Ford, but you can buy these as well, I believe, like Amazon. Um, they are made by Putco, but they are made um, pretty much exclusively for Ford. So I don't know, I think they're all Ford licensed and they have the F-150 because they have to be... Uh, license to put that emblem in there um, hope you guys liked the video if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment uh, subscribe to my channel and leave any comments if you like to see any videos in the future i'm gonna try to do videos anytime i update anything on my truck here so uh, stay tuned see you in the next one